So if it isn't clear yet, in a flipped, in a rig style flipped class, you are expected to watch video lectures before you come to class. This uh, hopefully is not a heart palpitation inducing concept to you. Hopefully you're like, dude, watching videos online on my computer, like, okay, no problem. But it sort of is important how all the material is organized and presented to you. So for my face-to-face -face students, what you will find is that I organize everything that you need in Canvas, which is our learning management system. To get to Canvas, because that's relevant too, unless you're already in Canvas watching this in Canvas, which is totally possible, you go to the College of the Redwoods website, this very lovely thing. Up in the top, what is that, left corner is a student login button. Voila, go to Canvas. Once you are in Canvas land, now you put in your WebAdvisor ID, and then you type in your, um, what's it called, password. And your password starts out being your six-digit birth date, unless you've changed it, which you probably should, in which case it won't be that anymore. Now, once you're in Canvas, you're going to see a screen something like this, and you'll go up to Courses and Groups, and voila, you will find the course that uh, we're talking about, mine, my course. You'll find it. And then when you click on it, what will always come up for all my classes I set the modules as the home page. That's this right here, and you'll see that we're actually in there. So as soon as you open up Canvas, you will see modules. Interestingly, the modules, like my Canvas course is publicly accessible. I'll try to remember to post a link somewhere so that, you know, you can, anybody, my YouTube students, my YouTube rock stars out there can get the lecture notes and whatever other things you are interested in here. Obviously, you won't be able to take quizzes or do things that are actually for a grade, but you can access some of this stuff, which might be helpful to you. Okay, as soon as you arrive in module land in Canvas, you will see that, holy cow, rigs, there's a lot of stuff here. And the answer is yes, indeed there is. All of my courses have a get started here module, and it's the first one, and there's just some general information, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> not general. The syllabus, I'll bring you copies on the first day of class, but actually I shouldn't say that because I'm going to reuse this lecture, and someday I'd like to stop bringing copies on the first day of class, so print it out for yourself. You don't need copies from me unless it's spring 2016, in which case I'll totally bring you a copy. Okay, the course schedule is the, the syllabus, critical. Read it. Make sure you're cool with it. The course schedule is the document that if you don't follow this thing, you're going to be sad and confused and lost, and you will fail, which that's kind of not the point. We don't want you to do that. So I'm going to um, pull out just a second here and show you the course schedule. It looks different for each of my classes. Again, I'm using Bio 1 as my example for this semester because, dude, how beautiful is that thing? I'm not printing you color copy versions of this but it might be handy to color co code things because in Wendy land, there's a lot going on every day. What you'll notice is that I've linked the date for the class with a Canvas module. And in the Canvas module, you will find everything you need to prep you for that day. In addition to that, lab content is addressed in this handout. So particularly for Bio 1, we only have one lab a week. In Anatomy and Physio, both classes have two labs a week. You'll, there's a lab component, and so you can look here to see, dude, what are we doing in lab, and what module in Canvas do I need to go to to find this information? It's important because I cover modules 1 through 6 before our first exam. That means all of this content will be on your first exam. If you lose this thing, or if you're like, dude, I'm just going to go rogue and watch Riggs' lectures on YouTube, um, you're going to miss out on a lot of resources. So let me just show you what some of these resources are. Remember that we were in this getting started section. I got to throw this out right now because 
I have embedded in each one of my Canvas courses a semester grade calculator because when we get to the grade scene, what you'll see is that there's actually a lot of uh, opportunities to earn grades in this class. And this grade calculator will let you set up and estimate what grade you're earning at this moment, what would happen, what do you have to improve upon, what kind of, how do you have to do on your exams if you want to get the grade that you want to get. So I just have that thing. I wanted to make sure that you saw that that is available to you, that semester grade calculator. Um, but this is a content module. And take a look at this magic thing. What you see here in its beautiful glory, lecture material is at the top of the module. And there's a video lecture embedded right in there. And I'm going to right click on that thing and let it have some time to open so you can kind of see what a video lecture in Canvas looks like. I also usually have some kind of lecture notes that these are my notes, so they are not in any way, shape, or form a substitute for your textbook. There are typos. There are misspellings. There are, like, errors. I try to fix them every semester, but things always slip through the cracks. So, but they're helpful. They actually help guide you when you sit down with the lecture. Some people like to use the lecture notes beforehand. Some people like to use the notes um, after to check against their notes, like whatever you, however you want to use them, it's totally up to you. But you might find those little packet of notes handy. In often the packet will include a study guide for your external brain assignment, which we'll talk about that in a second. And sometimes they include um, the lab handout as well. In Bio 1, I usually don't do it that way. I've got a little section here um, where your lab handout will be. I link the assignments. So anything that's due on that day or associated with that content, I link the uh, assignment itself. Now, we're going to talk about clickers. I linked the clicker assignment to this module, but you don't do it. You don't click on it and go, okay, I'm going to do my clicker now. You get your clicker points for showing up to class. So, and there's a note in there. If you click on this thing, it'll tell you, yeah, awesome, you're here but come to class to earn these points. And this is another thing for Bio 1 that we'll talk about um, in a second. But your assignments will be locked up in that module just so you're cool and you remember where every, everything is. If there's any lab work in that module, it will also be linked here. And then I've got resources. And these resources include a discussion board where you can shoot me a question. It includes a list of helpful resources which may or may not be populated. Especially for Bio 1, there's a ton of cool stuff in there. Um, and then you may or may not have a study guide associated. In some of my classes, this study guide gets gobbled up and it ends up being in the lecture packet. That's for the first day. For the second day, lo and behold, you have another module. And if you're like, dude, I don't know. Am I supposed to do module 2 today or am I supposed to do module 1 today? Go to the course schedule to see what we're doing on each day. On the 25th of January, we're doing module, the content in module 2. Okay, that seems like it should be super, super flippin' clear. Do you think it's flippin' clear? I hope so. If you have questions about how Canvas is set up or what resources are in here, please let me know. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here. I always make announcements. I usually make them at like 3 o'clock in the morning, so who knows how helpful they are. But usually you want to just kind of monitor the announcements to see if there's anything upcoming. You can check your own grades. You can talk to people. Lecture notes, lab handouts, things are in files. I do include a link to the um, textbook on the side because in all of my classes, woo, woo, we're using the free and open um, OpenStax textbooks, which I'm, that's another thing that makes me really happy. Okay, how are you? I can't hear you. We're going to spend the next little section talking specifically about how to access the video lectures. This is where you access everything. Now let's talk about just the video lectures.